We're now seeing, down here in Melbourne again, what is perhaps the most frightening demonstration of lawlessness, which will have two ramifications. Firstly, no one will invest in Victoria. The reputation Victoria had in the past has come back to hit us between the eyes again fully, and the people who are leading this lawlessness, sadly, are seemingly immune from the law of the land. In other words, the law of the land should come down very That's strongly. Silly. One of them was in court this after, yesterday afternoon. I'm sorry, it's not just one, it's a lot. So I have, Brian Boyd was the guy who became head of the trade union movement. You were movement, quite close to him, weren't you? And I always was able to work with him. I'm saying to him now, Brian, you better get your troops into line because if this action continues, you might win on one site or two sites. You might cripple Grollos, as you're trying to do, but you will certainly cripple the interests of your members. We are at a break point. Already, if you have a look at the major Australand, Mervac, etc., they're all changing their CEOs. They're all seeing their growth decline, shrink. This is a very big site on Lonsdale Street. There's a lot of money tied up in it. If these thugs continue unabated if Brian Boyd cannot bring his troops into line then we will all pay a price but the people who will pay a price first are those who are currently employed by the suppliers to the construction industry. So what's Ted done? What should he be doing the Premier? Well as you saw yesterday they took in the police and the police yeah, were that outnumbered. That wouldn't be his direction. Oh no but that, that's the government's agency independently operating. Uh, if this continues, then the, the government has got to find a way, if necessary, to quickly, with the judicial system, find a way of holding these people to account. And I mean quickly. But it's broader than that, isn't it? We've got the, no, the, this, the this, building this... industry policemen saying organised crime, bikies and thugs Absolutely. have infiltrated the construction industry. Uh, now, surely there has to be a government level say, well, we can't put up with that. No. We've put up with it too long. It's been going on for 20 years. And the trouble with that, Neil, is to try and address <laughs> that is going to take weeks, months, years if you go through the legal system. You've got to firstly allow people who want to work to work. And these people are protesting because the union wants the authority to nominate the shop stewards on these sites. That is impossible. It is just unacceptable. Employers must retain control of the operation of their sites. They're the ones who manage the money. They're the ones that obviously expend it and employ. Well, maybe you can be the moderator here. You get on well with Brian Boyd. You're a friend of the Premier. Why don't you put it together? Uh, well, I don't have that capacity and I don't think I have the ability to do it. I'm not a, a moderator. You different times, different circumstances. I don't think people understand the risk. And what and what will happen very quickly, sites will close down around Melbourne, no new investment. At a time when revenues are shrinking, costs are growing, we are on the verge of another outbreak of selfish short-termism by some in the movement, in the union movement, who are putting union interests before the employment of their union colleagues.